In this lesson, I'd like to discuss a few different right hand techniques that you can use when you're playing jazz guitar. The first is obviously to use a plectrum, so that just means strumming with a plectrum, which I'm sure you all can do. The key to getting a good sound is to strum softly and quick, so you're getting a brisk effect of a chord. Okay, the next technique that you can use for playing chords or comping is hybrid picking. So that means using the plectrum and finger. So you can use a the plectrum, then you can use the middle finger. So I'm just taking a very simple C major seven chord right here. I'm going plectrum on the A string, middle finger on the D string, ring finger on G, and then pinky on B. Now, using this gives you a very full pianistic sound, so you're getting all of the chords together played at once. So it's much more pianistic. So if I play in the context of a tune, maybe like the first couple of bars of all the things you are, maybe if you're just using plectrum. Now, if I do the same thing with some hybrid picking, You can hear the difference there. Okay, now the next approach that you can use for your right hand is finger style. And that really just means it's like hybrid picking, but you haven't got a plectrum. So if you're playing a basic C major seven chord, then you're basically using your thumb for the A string, index on D, middle there on G, ring on B string. And that is once again, a good way of getting all these chords together. So all the things you are, finger style, So there is no right or wrong, there's different preferences that people have for using these and um, there's some great players that just use a plectrum and they're wonderful at doing that. Others are great at hybrid picking, someone like Ed Bicker is really good at doing that. And then fingerstyle, you obviously get someone like Joe Pass who could basically play great fingerstyle guitar but when he was playing with a band he would use a plectrum for single line stuff. Now, the trick to really getting good with any of these is just perseverance and practice. You know, I'm sure that most of you are the most comfortable using a plectrum, so that's probably um, going to be your default approach. If you're completely new to fingerstyle, it does take quite a lot of persistence and perseverance. You've got to remember that when you were learning to use a pick, that took a while to get good with as well. The other approach that I haven't discussed much is using the thumb, which obviously Wes did, and that is tricky as well. You know, for single lines... <laughs> gives you a beautiful mellow sound and obviously for octaves and simple bluesy stuff then the thumb's great if you've got to play slow melodies then the thumb works great for that as well So either one of these is absolutely fine to use and these are some options that you can have different textures with. So what I often find when I'm playing with a band is that I think a plectrum is great for single line playing but when you're comping then it can often sound a little bit kind of cumbersome and heavy. So if you want to have really light comping and you don't want to get in anybody's way, using your thumb is a great way to kind of keep the volume down and not be too intrusive. So you can use a mix of these things on the gig. So please share in the comment section below what is your favourite comping approach? Do you like to use hybrid picking, plectrum or fingerstyle? Comment below and if you enjoyed this video then please subscribe to this channel.